I didn't see you there. Well, since you're here, might as well stick around and listen to a story we have to tell. These are the Hezzy Tales. Hezzy Tales, Auto Trip. Alright, so this is the tale of our auto trip. What a horrible trip. Okay, so this was after the first year of university for all of us. Jules was going to school in Ottawa. Um, we were spending a weekend in Ottawa, flew out there just to hang out and help move into his house. Leave Calgary at like 2 in the morning, red eye flight, land in Ottawa at like 6 a.m. or whatever. The flight plus the time zone change. Jules' friend picks us up. So yeah. Friend picked me up, no really nice of him, it's early in the morning. Uh, he picked us up, we were hungry as hell, so we drove to Dennis. Where's Dennis? This place was dirty as hell! First of all, actually, they would go ahead. My beverage had flies. Bugs! In the drink! Singular bug. Singular bug. There was about three. No way. There was one on this side? There was more than one fly that and was in the straw. And there was a fly in the straw. The straw. My dish, my, 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 my cup was not clean. It was literally dirty. Not, not not it, it was not great. Um, but it was food. Got the food back in the car with uh, Jules' friend. And then we go to the house that uh, Jules was going to be living with his roommates. No we key. could not get in. We couldn't even get it. it was locked. Because you didn't have a key. Yeah, but the reason I didn't have a key is because no one shipped me the key. It's your house, though, no? You should have a key to your own house. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Fair, fair. How am I supposed to get in with no key? You wear police foundations. Did they not teach you to pick a lock? Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to protect people not breaking into places. This is major. Technically not breaking we into places. We had we had no key, so we weren't even getting in this house. We wanted to put our bags down, relax. Chill! But we couldn't. So we had to go and uh and, and get a key from somewhere. So we went to another one of your roommates' uh houses. Yeah. Went back to his apartment. I uh, gave us a, a key, ten four, and then we headed back to my room. We go back to this crib and we get in, and finally we can get into this this house and relax and you know cool off. Wait a minute, there's no air conditioning. We don't even we're boiling hot in the middle of the summer. We walked in and I was like, it's kind of hot. You got AC? Man said no. No. What? I checked. And then I realized I didn't have it. Wait, it was, it was like, student no, living. No man. AC, no AC, fine. It was like 28, fine, especially here in Calgary. People in Ottawa and Southwest Ontario in general, it's so much more humid there. Okay. So that was one thing. Another was we had no furniture. This was nothing. Oh, just floor, <laughs> and that's it. And then on top of that, you know, at least we could even just go on our phones at least. No, no Wi-Fi. We had no Wi-Fi. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, that was just for one day. Just for one day. One day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think people. I think people back. How are the, the, the people back in the fifties surviving? They can do a week in the fifties. Are we in the fifties? I respect you. We got. We got the router. I said we tried to connect it. Oh, it wasn't working. Did not work. So didn't then work. he called them, but then they had, they said they were gonna pull up Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. But we'd be gone by then. We would have been gone three days before by then already. And then the, the incident in the car. Did that happen when we were going to get the Rogers rudder or the Bell rudder? Oh. Wow. My friend was like almost got an accident. Okay. okay. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so this friend of Jules is very interesting guy. He's very kind of him to help us out. Um, he definitely tested his patience, but this, he also did some very interesting things. One, one of the most interesting of which, we were picking up one of the routers, and he was pulling out of a parking spot, like, along the road. And he just did not shoulder check, did not check his mirrors. He almost killed us. Shoulder check, kids. Pulled right in front of someone. He person slammed on his arm, pulled up next to us, rolled down his window. It was like a, like a 50 year old dude and like his wife or whatever. Oh, oh man. man! He was like 62? Yeah, he was an old senior citizen. Great. But, I mean, anyways, he so he pulls up next to the man, rolls his window down, looks at him and says, Oh, like a gang. Yeah. Why? Why are you doing no. that? What's crazy? What? He's worse? Because. Bro, it's just bad, bro! There's no reason to do that. So now we all look like hooligans. It's the fact that he said it made absolutely no sense because it was his fault that he was hit the man. It's because the guy that almost got in the accident because of um, I, Jules' friend, I can't say any names, it's kind of weird, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are? You he got me through out of his window. And he's like, like, hey, you can't just pull out without looking. <laughs> and then the friend responds with, yeah, we can. We on that game shit. That friend was whiter than I am. <laughs> and I did not feel comfortable 
was saying that. Something was not right already. This was day one. We're about five hours into being in Ottawa, and it's already getting bad. But regardless, so as you can see, successful trip so far. Well, uh, okay. Yes. So after that, we go back to his house. Another group of his friends came and brought us a mattress, a blow mattress. Blow up mattress. And we're just like, where's the pump? I'm not using my lungs. Yeah. We're not blowing this so mattress she, up. She gave us a blow dryer. Or hair dryer, actually, yeah. And then, so me and Alison were just like, yeah, we'll try this, because she said it worked. Two minutes later, big hole. Hole. We melted a hole in the mattress. Your fault, though. How was this our fault? I mean, she How did a barbecue a blow up She said to use the, the hair dryer. And then she said, put it on cold. Did you put it on we cold? We put it on cold. It was it so was hot. Still hot. It's a blow dryer. Melted this thing, and now this was our first piece of furniture in this house. And it's straight to the bin. And it's garbage. We still used it though. I slept on that. I slept on that. It was like half the day. Matters. Tell me how comfortable that sleep was. Uh, out of 10. It was a very uncomfortable sleep, but it was not my least comfortable sleep. There we go. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> sleep. <laughs> As we I. As we I. So we had nothing. John took that mattress. <laughs> Jules was upstairs. Nice. Sleeping good. On his mattress by himself. When he saw that himself. Sleep. One pro. Yeah, exactly. Continue. Okay, and then. So. As and I just have to take four. So we wake up in the morning. Wow. I had a cochino here. <laughs> a couple, couple bread over here. It was like the bottom of the It couch. was disgusting. We're sleeping on a dirty ground. We're covered in crumbs. We slept on the ground. Hardwood floor. How was but the, how was the ground even dirty? When there was no one there. You was tell me! It was yeah. dirty! So yeah. that was before they cleaned the house. At least you guys had pillows and blankets. Tell me I'm wrong. No, you have to. Jules, first of all, you have to use a blanket when it's. We're not using about blankets. 56 degrees. You, you know what you should have done? This is actually your fault. You should have put. Shut up. You should have put the blanket on the ground, mm. slept on the blanket, mm. boom. What, then, what would that? I'm still sleeping on the floor. Okay, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's like a match this carpet right here, bro. If you like sleep on the carpet, it's a little bit more comfortable than sleeping on the freaking just. If you ever want to save money on a mattress, just buy a blanket. You can't say it's the same thing as this carpet because this thing was paper. You didn't even have pillows. I no, no, you have pillows on. on yeah, bed. I used my hoodies. We used our hoodies. Yeah, but can you smile because you know you're. We you didn't have pillows. You didn't give us that. I, I, I had a pillow. That's great. I had a pillow. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault y'all didn't come prepared. It's not what? my fault. What? What was I supposed to bring? A key to your house? You thought I'm not going to bring my bed on the plane? Not bed, man. Besides, okay, the student arrangement, okay, very shocking. It was a non furnished house, a student living, stuff like that happened. I don't think it's supposed to go down like that. Yeah, well, continue. Bro, it's just a student living. You gotta struggle, bro. It's a struggle. There's no reason for students to be, to be sleeping on the ground. Exactly. There's, you're right, there should be no reason. It's, but it's, that's it's why he wasn't, but we yeah, were. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Your knees need to be good. Mattress, I, pillow. I didn't say this. John? John woke up like this. Half his body's on the couch. <laughs> just. He's just like this because no air in that mattress. Another so thing too was we met Jules' roommate that was in the house. This was also another interesting character. Very, very interesting. And for some reason, this this particular character really liked just eating like full Oh my baguettes! Baguettes. Oh all the time. Just baguette. No, nothing with no, it. No 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 no. It, well throughout the year it was baguettes and chicken, you know. Throughout the year. Throughout the year. When he was there, when we first met him, was just, just forget. Mm -hmm. All carb diet. It's like the opposite of keto. Like, it was what? The opposite of keto. Keto is like no carbs. Stop. Like a diet. Stop. 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 Anyways, Stop. Um, oh, no, no. I had Popeyes for the first time, and I liked it a lot. Anyway, so Next. so after after we woke up, we woke up to was it Rogers? No, it was Bell. You woke up, bro. I almost we almost locked. Yeah, because if you didn't wake, wake up, up, no, wake up, no wife no, for the entire trip. So it was like 7.30 a.m. Yeah, it was really Thank God I was awake though, because wow, it would have been a shocking trip. But then, after we got the Wi-Fi, his roommate had a little gal just walk out of his room out of, out of nowhere. nowhere. This guy just looks at all of us just smiling. I'm like, bro, come so on. So you know now. it was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. But then, yeah, for that, I don't think we did much at all. Up until we, yes. I mean, we walked to the people that gave us the mattress that we demolished. Um, we walked to their house. Yeah, because they had Wi-Fi. Made it that because they had Wi-Fi and air conditioning. And air, wow, oh, oh, air conditioning. Thank you. 
you know who you are. Appreciate um, it. But then, yeah, so we were just there. We, we went, went, there. No, we 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 went to the Bayou. The what? The what? Byword. The Bayou. The Byword. The Bayword? The Byword. <laughs> Byward Market. The Byward Market. That, just say downtown Ottawa, man. So day two, later in the night, we went to his uh, friend's place because they had AC. So the that people that gave us the mattress, we went to their house. Um, so then we returned the, the hair dryer. Yeah, we just did. Destroyed the mattress. <laughs> we did not return the mattress. They did not want. But then, that. so we were pl we planned on going to what's it called Bay 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 Kicked out the place, had a little pre, played some pong. John is the worst beer pong player oh, I've ever seen in my we don't, life. We don't need to tell this. First of all, we're we cool. don't, we're we're don't need to tell this. I don't think it's that critical at all to the story. It's very critical. critical. One, 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 okay. I, I did a naked pond. No, you got me this pond by us. Okay. Okay. Mm. okay, my roommate was the one who um, eats baguettes. If you eat mm. whole ass baguettes, you're not going to be good at beer pong. It's a rule. You still can hit a I cup. What? So wait, you're saying, but you could hit a cup? I, it's no, a it was a quick cake. Uh, jet we called I uh, overheating from the humidity. Uh, you got washed. You go to school in Ontario as well. You should be used to it. Not in the summer. Not in the summer. You got yes, washed. Sure. So this man ran naked down the street. Yeah. Um, I would just like to say, I was pretty lanky then, but uh, you know, put on um, several tens of pounds. That's not So uh, ladies hit me up. Let's go. Alright, so after the party, we uh, went to the Byward Market, which is uh, no, downtown Ottawa. It was all of our first times there because I did not go downtown Ottawa because I was not of age in first year. So you went to get it. So I went to get it. So both went and they were not of age. So how did you? How did you? I had a fake that I bought oh, from really? a guy who in Res. It was an Ontario ID. Mm -hmm. Um, like a provincial ID or a health card, I think. Um, it was expired, um, and it did not look like me. And I bought it for 20 bucks in res like a month before that. And that's how I was planning on getting to clubs and all of them. Did it work? Uh, it did. One out of two times. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have used my cousin's ID. It worked though, because I've been using it before. So, first club we get into, uh, what was it called? Uh, liquor store, I believe. And it closed, right? No, it was ass. It was ass. There was like a group of 15 of us. There was a lot of us pre COVID time. Yeah. But um, there was like 30 people in the club, including us. So that was uh, horrendous. And it was like a full club. You could have packed the place. 30 people? I, it was empty. Yeah. I'm going to say there was like a good 15 people. There was nobody there. Yes, yeah, so then we left the liquor store and. Went to Went into Green Room. Because it's literally right beside Yeah. Speaking of Green Room, that bouncer? Wow! That man looked oh, no, 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 no. six years old. This is a grown man, but somehow man says I'm eighteen. So we're like, bro, show us your ID. Stop capping. And he was eighteen. Yeah, I'm older than him. I think. I was very confused because this was a grown man. Imagine going to a club and you're asking about it. You show me your ID. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's exactly what I said to Regardless, we get into this club yeah. and it's dead. <laughs> very, very dead. No okay, but there. listen, the reason it was dead is because Ottawa. You have to say it's a. Uh, it's a university city, right? No one's actually like from Ottawa. Mm -hmm. So that's why like once school is done, everyone just like goes back to like Toronto and all the other small towns around here. But, but that club? Wow. We walked down the stairs. Because we had to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. The bathroom had no door. There was no door. no door. So the bathroom, right? So say you're walking down the stairs, mm -hmm. you have to walk through a long hallway yeah. and the club's at the end. So the bathroom's here, and then the girl's bathroom is like behind the stairs. Oh, yeah, right. So the guy's bathroom, for some reason, you walk in, you can see everyone pissing. You can see the what? urinals, there's no dividers, no, no stalls, no right. door. We're trying right. to door? We're trying to go to the bathroom, and there's just girls walking, pop, walking by, and they're just looking. It's like, bro! I didn't know they were looking, though. Because you hear them. You can't hear them giggles? Regardless, man, we were in this club for not very long. long. Uh, Shocking club. And decided to get get out of there after a while. So we just went back, got some food, you know, pizza, Fun. pizza, subway. We're back to the house and we get another horrible sleep because there wasn't any comfortable sleeps on this whole trip. But for them, see, dickhead. Because this, anyways, <laughs> I, I I slept pretty well. The third day, that was like the second day, basically. like the daytime was like. Yeah, yeah. we were chilling yeah. again. But let's fast forward to the night. We stayed around downtown. We went to the friend's house. Um, and they had like a bit of a party. Yep. There was like 
what, like 20, 30 people there? We got welcomed by the best women's goalkeeper in Ottawa. But then she cut right away. Yeah, she bounced. Yeah, she bounced. immediately gone. But we go into this, this, this house party, we're vibing, you know, having a good time. And, it's, it, and it was fun. Yeah. Um, except when it was time to sleep. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure what what was going on, but everything just hit the fan. So first of all, <laughs> for them, I was tripping. Okay, this guy got out of bed every day. We were all planning on crashing. They knew we were planning on crashing. Like everyone who's gonna sleep there had a plan to sleep there, except Jules's roommate. Now what let me tell you roommates? something. Wow. This man was drinking. What was it? It was non-alcoholic beer. Non-alcoholic beer. But like a Budweiser or something. But, was it? but this guy started saying, oh, I'm gonna go home now, whatever. And everyone there was like, no, no, you can stay. Like, everyone's sleeping over, you can sleep over too. He was like, oh, says, are you no, sure? no, 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 it's fine. Unless you're, you're sure. <laughs> Unless you're sure. They're like, no, no, come on, you go ahead and stay. stay. He says, bet. And he goes to his car and his comes truck. back. His truck. He goes to his truck, truck comes back with a bag. <laughs> Inside like, this bag, he has pajamas. He has a toiletry bag. And this nigga have breakfast. This man meal prep cereal. Bro, with, the the milk. Milk. with the milk and the cereal. He the thing is, he didn't even put it in the fridge. Kept in his bag. No, no, he left it in the fridge. No. no. He left it in his bag. No, no, maybe he likes his milk warm. What? That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Yuck. I didn't say I like my milk warm too, but I'm saying. Listen, he's a different breed. Oh, wait, oh, it's cheese in the morning. To eat some, to eat some room, to eat some room. That wasn't even the worst part. It was very shocking, but, but that's not even the worst part. The worst part was... Oh. So, like, yeah, John John had a pretty bad sleep that day. Ah, I slept, slept on the floor. floor. No, okay. yeah, the okay. okay, but the reason you slept on you the floor... You don't get to talk about... Oh, hold on, stop, 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 stop. The reason he slept on the floor is because that same roommate took his spot. He didn't even take it. He didn't take it. He gave it up. On the couch, but then the roommate comes up, and he has his like meal prep cereal, and out, and he was gonna sleep on the floor, and I don't know, I felt bad. I was sleeping. He on the had floor. a sleeping bag. I I've been sleeping on the floor. Yeah. And pajamas. Like I was soaking. A pillow. So I slept on the floor. Breakfast. Um, I, I should have just kept the couch. Should have kept the couch. But okay, so, so he slept on the floor. Once again, brilliant sleep. Excellent. Again. Excellent. But guess what? Not one good sleep this entire trip for me and I think him. Horrible. Mm. So, there was a bed with a person that one of us could have slept with, but the brother was there. This man's about 6'8". The point is, he was, he was a buff man. He's a big, yeah. intimidating figure. Yes. He's very intimidating. All the big So, he was, we, we were like, no, none of us, none of us are risking our lives. No. So then, we had to share a bed with two people. So very limited space. They don't for really make people. beds for four people. And me on the edge for about five minutes. So I'm off the bed. I hit the ground immediately. They all had blankets, nice and cozy. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm like this, bare chested, minus four. Worst okay. sleep of my. It was cold it was cold day. on the ground. The AC was on high. It was we, on high. It was we went. Should've I was first one up. Should have gone to my crib. First one up at like what five a.m. I hate you. Five days I was first put up, and then as he gets up, about 45 minutes later, goes to the bathroom, he's sleeping there for like two hours. I slept sitting <laughs> on the toilet, I just slept. Because I didn't get any sleep during the night. Yeah, and David slept on the ground. And Jules wakes up fresh. She's like, yo, you guys oh, I, was, I was relaxed, man. Like, you know, nice, comfortable, no back issues. The worst part about that, you guys went back to the house for hours. No, no, you know, they did, remember? They did. Wow, well, guys, you two did. did. You guys walked back. Went back, took a shower, and left, left me and Jules just the out of so mad. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not about to be bored. Do you know the kind of sleep I just had? No, the way I didn't even want to say bye to these people, because it was our last day. Oh my goodness. Wait, Jack, but it wasn't their fault. Yeah, no, it was yours. Okay. I, mean, I, will, I will take some responsibility. Some? Some, because when, before we went on this trip, I told you guys I should have furniture. I, I called it. You did not say should. You said I will have furniture. You said you I will have pots and pans. I said, yeah, 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 hold on. Pots and pans? Rush, please. No, no, pots and pans, we figured that out when we got there. Say I'm like, say I'm like. That was, that was the trip. And then, 
Yeah, I woke up that morning, kind of went back to Jules, got you ourselves, the whole trip, went no. to the airport, and came back to Calgary. We solidified the worst trip of all time. But it was memorable. Memorable for bad reasons. No, there's no bad memories. <laughs> Did you not hear about the part where you left on the ground? But that concludes the first Hezzy Tales. Let us know if you want another Hezzy Tales. Get that like button up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor. Subscribe. Peace. Next time. Next time we talk about uh, Benny's Benny's girlfriend.